Okay, so here we go again. Um, we're trying to put in some white lines um, to help facilitate this idea that there's light coming from somewhere and a building is not all completely flat. So I'm, I've, I've taken water and with this, this flat brush, just scrubbed with water the area, squeegee out your brush, and then suck out the extra pigment. Squeegee out your brush, suck out the extra pigment. Um, this will help show that just on that right where the right before the um, the building kind of rotates or goes around the um, to a dark spot, there's going to be a light spot right next to it. And we're just continuing down here. I start up there at the tippy tippy top and working my way down. Rinse out your brush, squeegee it so it's empty, and suck up the extra pigment. Rinse out the brush, squeegee out your extra, suck up the extra pigment. Last one, come down here just with water, scrub a line back and forth. You'll start to see the, the paint pick up and peel away. Dip your brush, squeegee out all the water so it's dry, and then suck up the extra pigment. Dip it in there, squeegee it out so it's dry, suck up the extra pigment. And that's created right next, and it works pretty well right now because I have those dark lines in there to begin with. Um, because of the drawing, wow, it's already starting to look like it's like it's a building, like it has some uh, some some bricks or something there that's causing that uh, to go to do that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. Um, let's go and I think you know I like that so much. I'm gonna go over here. I need just a little bit of, I do have a dark area there, so I'm going to do that right here with this green building as well. Right next to that dark line that I had. Got scrubbed up the paint, squeegee that out a little bit so that we have a light edge right next to the dark. Okay, that we like. Now, let's come back in here and, ooh, I'm mixing up a little bit of a brownie-greeny mixture again. This one I think is going to be just a little bit, a little bit darker. That's, that, that's too blunt. I need a smaller brush. because I wanted this squared. And so I'm making a little window sill, a little window ledge that extends out beyond. So I don't want to go over the white. I want to go up to the white. That other brush was just too thick. It was making everything too crazy. Okay, it's kind of like that. Ooh, how cool. Let's continue that. And we need a little windowsill, window ledge. That's good. I guess the advantage of working with this particular area is, is we can bounce back and forth between the two buildings once we get the, the base in. So we'll, we do something to this green one and then we do something to the red one and that was a much darker application, wasn't it?
steal some of that out of there. Okay. Also, I just wanted to put just a little bit of a a band of something right there. And making that slightly darker right along the edge here. Okay, this is just some water, so I want this to blend in a little bit. I wanted kind of a shadow area up under this piece. <laughs> okay. I wonder. I'm experimenting again. Sometimes your detail well, it'll seem a little tedious, a little time consuming, but the thing of it is, is when you, when you do your detail stuff, it usually makes things look pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm doing, remember I told you that, just kind of putting that in there, probably putting that on the wrong side. It's okay. Just kind of experimenting with my bricks. Trying to bring out the white a little bit, the lighter color, by putting a darker one in. Technically, probably should have been on the other side. Maybe now we start on the other side. Since I had my teeny brush out anyway. This is a brown or a green. If you put over green, it's going to make uh, the complementary colors mix to make brown. If you start out with a the brown, then it's kind of brown anyway. That does add a little bit better texture to the brick. So I'm drawing, uh, doing kind of the shadow. Flies coming in that side. No, I had it. That was right. I was thinking it was the other way because I got much darker, huh? Because the light source was coming from the coming from the left, then the windows are different. They go the other way. So I guess it's the detail that makes your paintings make them more spectacular. And so that kind of brings out the brick a little bit more um, when you have that that side. Hopefully I didn't have my fat head in the way. Okay. 
so making a little mark on the right side and then on the bottom. That does make your bricks come out, doesn't it? I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Let me take this around so you guys can kind of take a peek and see what it looks like up close and personal on what it is we're trying to do.